All right, YouTube, so as promised, this is the second video of today, which is going to be the first part of the May sketchbook tour. So I've made a lot of great drawings over the past two days because I took a little bit of a break from drawing for a few days, as I mentioned in one of my previous recent videos, but I've been using a larger drawing pad, which was a little challenging at first and took a lot more time to create the drawings, but it says the old saying goes, quality over quantity. So let's get straight to the artwork. The first drawing is of course the yin to the yang, the white albino lantern. As you can see, this one took almost the entire page and it is a big page, but you know, it is very beautiful and I'm very proud of this drawing. Next up, we have my good friend and a great music artist, Alexander Aurelius, but this time he has the tattoos that I made a video about the meaning behind and he's got a fresh pair of sunglasses and a slightly shorter haircut, similar to the one I have now, but yeah, I absolutely love him. Next up, we have my favorite musician of all time, Chester Bennington, who is also a cool tattooed guy. And this next drawing is a self-portrait, but this one I'm really proud of, more so than many of the other ones. Um, this is Jones Beach with wings, but this time with a summer vibe. I forgot, I almost forgot what I was going to say there, but as you can see, I drew myself with slightly longer hair than the one I have now, so I can't wait for it to grow back and have my black and blue lantern tattoo as well as some cool necklaces and the other tattoos I have so there you go I love my self portraits and next up we have the septile headshot I've drawn about half a million variations of this one here we have the Pokemon scissor but this time he's cloaked based on a episode of the anime where he had like a cloak I didn't really watch the episode but I saw images of it so I wanted to base it off that and as you can see he's using fire because as I've mentioned, I love the idea of Scizor using his weakness to his strength. Here we have the red and blue koi fish. Next up, we have another Generation 2 Pokemon. You already know it, my favorite Pokemon of all time, Lantern, but this is just the classic Lantern, not a revised Jones Beach version with different colors. And next up, this is another portrait of myself, but I gave myself a white turtleneck. I really like this outfit. It's simple and minimal, but very stylish. And next up we have the Dune Star Wars Fusion, which is the character, I forgot his name, but played by Austin Butler, who's very ripped and lean and bald and badass. As you can see, he has two lightsabers. And the next drawing is more or less the same thing, but this one's in the flesh-colored version rather than the black and white version. And this is in the same family as those characters, but this guy is a good guy, as you can see by the color of his lightsabers. Don't be fooled by his Sith eyes. He's a good guy. And here we have a Jones Beach style lion cook. He's got a koi fish sleeve tattoo and a dragon serpent sleeve tattoo. Because many chefs have tattoos. And next up I drew a lifeguard. It doesn't really mean anything. Didn't really base him off anyone. Just kind of made him for fun because I made a video of something talking about lifeguard, lion cooks, and baristas. So that's where the inspiration came from. And here is the barista himself, coffee staff. And last but certainly not least, we have Jones Beach with a red leather jacket and red leather shoes. Kind of based it off the Marty McFly outfit, but yeah, there you go. That was the May sketchbook tour. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more soon. Goodbye.